allow me to introduce to you a new harmonic oscillator for VCV rack. It is somewhat cryptically named TWLV. It is made by Fe for SoundMit. You can get it from the SoundMit website as a free download for the low price of a Facebook like. I will link to the download page in the description below. So check that out. Now, let me show you. This is what TWLV looks like. As you can see, the center here is taken up by 12 sliders for the harmonics of the bass note. So the bass frequency is the times one, and then you can add harmonics as you go. And you can choose which ones. And you have CV inputs here to modulate these harmonics to let them come in and out um, with the amount of CV that you want to modulate. So if it's all the way down, you add a CV source as soon as it's uh, other than zero, it will bring in this harmonic as you sell see in my patches we have the frequency knob here it goes really low and really high all right let's add a scope to see what kind of waveforms we have So this is the sign. And if you add the second harmonic, you see how the waveform changes. Same with the third harmonic and the fourth. Now if you take out the first, it will sound like a different and it shifts here. Ooh. So there are a lot of possibilities with this. Okay, so sine wave. We have in total, eight waveforms here. That's a bit loud. Um, square wave, 50-50. Then we have a 25% square wave, I believe it is. And a 75% square wave. A saw wave. A triangle. And then... This looks like a 90% square wave and a 25% square wave and you of course get all kinds of nice effects when you add harmonics yeah okay nice soul wave here All right. Now, if you uh, want to play more than one note and not keep moving the frequency knob, of course you can add a sequencer. And I already made one ready here. Also from Ojo da Fe is a step sequencer. So if you connect that to the CV in here, there is no change. And it functions like uh, the modulation of a CV in. So if you want full modulation, that means the full pitch range that is generated by the sequencer, 
turn it all the way up. You can also turn it all the way down to get like an opposite effect. Or somewhere in between if you want it scaled, but I guess usually you want it all the way up. And then you can add modulation and stuff. Alright, let's have a look at a couple of patches I made. The first one is called RP. As it has uh, an arpeggio. So what I did here was um, have a clock, 180 BPM, to generate an arpeggio in the Turing machine of Stellaris uh, Music Thing Modulars Turing machine. I only use the output, the main output here, not uh, any of the others. That goes into a quantizer, and from the quantizer it goes into the CVN of TWLV. I turned up uh, some of the harmonics already. Turned down the bass frequency. And I'm using the first sine waveform. As you see, I have modulated uh, a number of these harmonics from uh, ATFO. This is Bog Audio's LFO with eight phased outputs, uh, set quite slow. Yeah. So this slowly brings in uh, some of the harmonics as we go. Uh, we go through uh, the melody from the Turing machine. And then the output of our oscillator goes into clouds, the texture synthesizer. And I have it set in granular mode, spread quite well, widely so that we get a stereo image here in the output. Um, some feedback, so we get some kind of a delay effect together with quite a bit of reverb and I think together this sounds uh, quite nicely. We have an offset here in use for one of the outputs of our LFO that goes into the CV not to modulate this here so that sometimes uh, the notes change. And that is basically my first patch with TWLV. So this is mostly uh, just our new oscillator, TWRV, uh, with some uh, delay, reverb, a little bit of uh, granular action, but mostly just the sound of our oscillator. Alright, let's go and see our next patch. This one I called Drony. And Drony, as you can see here, just has the uh, the first harmonic turned up a little bit, so we get that as a constant output. And then a number of other harmonics are modulated here by Kaudal. I'm using here the upper outputs because they are smooth, and the lower outputs, the delta. Uh, sometimes flips and uh, it doesn't sound as smooth unless you want something more noisy. 
Uh, I'm using the scope here again to show you the waveform that comes from the main output of TWLV. Uh, we have gone here to the sixth waveform, which is the triangle. Uh, I'm sending the even and odd outputs from our oscillator just to this scope so you can see how they are different. Just looks cool. Uh, this scope has uh, some parameters from Caudal. And the final one is our output from Plateau, our reverb. So we send the output from TWOV, our harmonic oscillator, to two instances of tangents, low pass filtering, and the output of that goes to Plateau, our reverb. Again, just a simple patch to show you and some of the possibilities and uh, to let you listen to the sound of this new harmonic oscillator. Obviously, yeah, there is some modulation going on in the filters as well, but if you listen closely, you can hear uh, how the uh, harmonics change over time. Uh, I'm not putting in any pitch information in the CV, and it's just the same drone. Let's go to our final patch. And this one is based on uh, one of my VSVREC experiments from a while ago for a track I named Fifth Force. And I have replaced the oscillator with TWLV and tweaked things a bit here and there. And then you get this. So here we have topograph uh, generating rhythm, which triggers our Turing machine. Its output is quantized to a Lydian here, and that is sent to the CV in of TWLV. The output of the harmonic oscillator then goes into Debriatus for some destruction, some wave folding just a little bit and uh, some saturation. We also modulate uh, the distortion a bit. But it's not heavily distorted, it's basically again the output and the sound of the oscillator. I'm using the eighth waveform, which is one of the uh, pulse waves. The output of uh, Dabriatus here goes into our texture synthesizer, which is heavily modulated, and that goes into two instances of tangents again for some low pass filtering. And all this has quite a bit of modulation. Modulation is driven by the Lissajou LFO here. Thank you. 
Well, I hope you got uh, inspired to try out this new harmonic oscillator for yourself. You can get it, as I said, from the SoundMate website as a free download, and the link is in the description below. <laughs>